Well, hey everybody, welcome to Tuesday. Here we are, it is almost the end of the month. Um, you know, almost Memorial Day. I hope you're getting your plans ready. But as far as Tuesday night's dinner goes here in Mama Khan's kitchen, we are having oven baked pork chops with roasted potatoes and brown sugar carrots. Now the pork chop and the carrot recipe uh, I got from a website called Command Cooking. So this is a brand new recipe for us. I'm always on the lookout for a good pork chop recipe. So we're gonna get started here. Well, let me bring this down a little bit so you can see what's going on down here on my island. Okay, so what I have here is uh, I opened up a container of um, stovetop stuffing. So I have that. I have one egg that I've beaten and to that I am going to add, let me check, two tablespoons of milk. That's what I thought I had. Okay, so we're gonna mix that all together. Okay, so we got that done. Now I have your basic nine by 13 baking dish and I'm going to pour two tablespoons of melted butter in there and kind of swirl that around a little bit. Because after I bread the pork chops, we're gonna lay them in here. Okay, so that's ready. So I'll just move some of this stuff out of our way. Okay, so First thing we're gonna do is take, now each of these pork chops I've pounded to about a one inch thickness. I've trimmed all the fat off. So we're gonna put it in the egg wash, then we're gonna dip it over here in the breadcrumbs, well, the stuffing mix. Okay, and then we're gonna lay it in here. So we're gonna do this, it did say four pork chops, but the package I pulled out of the freezer had six, so we're making six. Um, I have the oven preheating to um, 425 degrees. Okay, so we got this going on. And of course, this is one of those, you, you gotta get in there with your fingers and you know, cooking is a contact sport around my house. Okay. So I have two more to go. trying to mush some of the bigger breadcrumb pieces on there. Okay, one more. So, that worked fine. And these, uh, this stuffing mix, I got at Aldi. Very inexpensive. Every bit as good as stovetop. So I think just cause I think it'll taste good with some stuffing mix on top. So then what's gonna happen is that we're gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it for 10 minutes. Then we're gonna take it out of the oven, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna bake it for about another 10 minutes. And that way it should be completely done. Um, you'll, I'll check it before we get to, uh, before we eat it to make sure that the pork chop inside should be at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so we've done that now. So let me clean up here a little bit because I got breadcrumbs. Excuse me one moment. Okay, gonna duck under here so I can wash my hands real quick. Okay. So, sorry 
got that dead air there, people. Um, so now let's get the um, carrots going on. So for the carrots, what we need is a one pound bag of baby carrots. Okay, so we got that. Then we're gonna put in the pan, we're gonna put in a half a cup of water, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and that's firmly packed. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoned salt and seasoned pepper, okay actually going to throw a little bit of seasoned salt and seasoned pepper over top of our pork chops too because I should have put a little bit of pepper in with the egg wash. Okay, so all I have to do with this now is that I'm going to put this saucepan on my um, oven on high and bring it to a boil. Once it starts to boil, I'm going to cover it I'm going to reduce the heat to low and I'm going to cook it for six minutes. Then I'm going to leave the lid on, but I'm going to turn the um, I'm going to turn the heat back up to high and I'm going to cook it, stirring it occasionally until all the water evaporates and the carrots are tender. And that's going to be another five to six minutes. So there you have it. I have the potatoes are all set. So you'll see, whoo, I'm sideways there. Uh, the potatoes are all ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna stick them in now cause they'll need a little bit longer, but that's what's for dinner. So I'll see you at the table. Thanks for joining in. If you have enjoyed what you saw today, please hit the like button and be sure that you subscribe, tell your friends and Mama Con will see you later. Bye.